Good morning. It is the 12th of March, 2017, just after 8 a.m. and uh, Sunday. And uh, I have some interesting info to go over with you. We had a really good meeting yesterday uh, in Napier. Uh, went over some very big plans and what's happening uh, with and in New Zealand and uh, there's a lot more going on on that. Now what I wanted to show you was uh, I saw this this morning more more rain gales due for southern North Island <clears throat> More heavy rain will drench already waterlogged parts of the North Island today with downpours also spread, spreading south. And let's have a look at this, the, the satellite image of what's going on. Now, there's nothing in here um, particularly that I can point out that clearly shows weather modification. And... Um, I want to say that if you think about a spinning top, once you get a spinning top spinning, you only need to give it a little flick here and there to keep it spinning. Have you ever noticed that? And that, uh, to me, is what's happening here, is they have gotten this spin going if you like and now they're keeping it going <laughs> so that is pretty much what's happening why um, you know there's always economics involved and so forth money to be made now while there is more gales more rain and so forth for the North Island Keep in mind that the South Island is still missing out. Um, you know, Canterbury is still in a drought situation, as far as I know. I could be wrong on that. You can correct me on that if, if, if I'm wrong, but I think so. Um, and here we go here. This is a real interesting one. Auckland risks worst water crisis in 20 years. Now, it's not because... There's not enough water. Now they're saying it's because there's too much water. If Auckland has failed to reduce water day, daily water usage due to issues caused by this week's rainfall, a boil water notice will be needed in the city, warns Water Care. Now what they're trying to do is control and scaremonger, dare I use that word, uh, using water as the new... Uh, scare factor and this is actually um, many of you will have seen the trailer for Geostorm the new movie from the makers of Independence Day coming out um, that we saw yesterday and um, and if you haven't seen that I recommend you go to YouTube and I'm sure you can find it on there Geostorm and it is a predictive programming which shows uh, the, that weather is now being used to control the world. Um, now, don't think that that is something that is going to happen in the future, might happen in the future. No, it's already happening. It's already being done. And here it is right here. And um, this is how they're doing it. And what it is talking about here is trying to get Aucklanders to cut back on their water usage. This is when it's raining, when there's lots of water, right? And uh, meanwhile, uh, remember, remember that the New Zealand government is allowing Chinese companies and overseas companies to come in, bottle New Zealand water, continuously take millions of litres of our water, bottle it and sell it back to us um, and to other countries. Uh, for profit, uh, while having to pay cents in the dollar or even less uh, for that water that they are getting, 
and meanwhile Aucklanders are being told to cut back on the water. Um, are you seeing any problem with this at all? Hello? <laughs> well, I sure do. And um, this is just absolute rubbish. It's absolute sarcasm uh, of the worst kind. Uh, and it's not mine. It's, uh, this, this, this is just irony. Um, and this is how they do it. This is, this is us being suppressed by a ridiculous method. Now, there it is there. Um, don't worry about that. That's just where the uh, image isn't turned on at a certain point, which is about 4 a.m. they've been doing that. Isn't it? Four, about 4, yeah, somewhere about there. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we have a spinning top that is being spun on us. And meanwhile, we have the spin on the media, spin doctors, creating fear, creating shortages of water when there is lots. And yes, I understand that dirty water can be a danger, can be a, you know, hazard or whatever, right? Um, we're living in 2017 in a day when we can we have technology where we can talk to somebody on the other side of the planet virtually instantaneously and not at a high cost and you tell me that we can't we haven't got the technology to clean water efficiently don't make me laugh uh, this is ridiculous this is a ridiculous idea and if we don't I would say that the people, the powers that be, the government, the, the people who are the so-called scientists and experts, what the hell have they been doing that they couldn't actually organise that? They haven't been doing their jobs, if that's true. But I think it's much, much worse than that. It's not that they haven't been doing their jobs, it's that they have been doing their jobs. We just didn't know what their job was. Their job is to create fear, create shortages, uh, flood and destroy our houses, our land, and um, and make a lot of money doing it. You know, that is their job. Okay, well thanks for listening. Uh, carry on. Uh, get your bracelets for Spiritual Awareness New Zealand. Uh, I will share that link again sometime, but it's it's around on the on the page. And uh, don't get too flooded. This is Nigel at Spiritual Awareness New Zealand. Checking out.